Welcome back to The Exchange. Last month, Florida moved to strip Disney of its special tax privileges. In the process, they didn't answer one key question. Who is responsible now for paying back nearly a billion dollars in debt that was used to build infrastructure? Let's bring in Michael Rinaldi. He's senior director at Fitch Ratings. Michael, welcome to the show. And, and what is the answer? First off, hi, Kelly. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's a very good question. I mean, the dissolution of a local government is a, it's a very uncommon circumstance. And I think adding intrigue to the story is the fact that, as you mentioned, Reedy Creek has a billion dollars in debt outstanding. And it's also an essential service provider to Disney, uh, which substantially owns all of the private property within the district. Um, you know, Disney, um, they, they, they have a, a variety of services that they benefit from the existence of Reedy Creek. And also, you know, when you look at the, the extension of the debt, um, the state hasn't really left any path in terms of who will assume the obligations. Um, this hasn't really been percolating for all that long. It first actually popped up on our radar a couple of weeks back uh, following the emergence of a dispute between Governor DeSantis and Disney right. uh, over an education bill that um, has no connection at all to uh, the operations of Reedy Creek or any other special district for that matter across the state. So this is really an isolated situation, but one with, uh, you know, creates a lot of uncertainty if you're a Reedy Creek bondholder beyond the June 1st, 2023 dissolution date. So has the, first of all, what is the status of this dissolution? Has it moved from a threat to a reality? Well, I mean, the state has left itself some time to work out a plan. And, and our opinion, our baseline expectation is that they will do so. Um, the idea that the debt uh, would, you know, be that the state would approve a plan that results in the transfer of the debt from the district to the counties, and essentially it's taxpayers, when you, you think about the sequence of events and how we've gotten to this point in the first place, you know, it just doesn't really seem likely to us. Um, there's another plausible path, which the governor has in fact hinted at recently, which would re result in the establishment of a successor agency to you know, step into the shoes of Reedy Creek. And um, in fact, the governing board in that case would be appointed not by Disney, but by the state. And so if you're Disney, you, know, you lose some direct influence over you know, key policy and decision-making that they currently enjoy. Um, if that situation plays out, and if you're a bondholder, the question you have is, will a successor agency say have the same uh, powers and control that the district does today? Right. And will they be able to generate the same property tax and utility revenues that they use to pay off the debt? So there are muni debt holders uh, for the, you know, this existing Reedy Creek debt that might be moved to this special agency going forward. Uh, so is that going to make it uh, a better investment in the future, a worse investment? And what are the spillover effects for other muni debt holders? Well, as I said at the start, I think this is really an isolated incident. We don't view this as a precursor to the state becoming more engaged and involved in local government affairs. Um, in terms of, you know, is it a better investment or not? I think, you know, it depends on what the state's next step is. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, we don't see this debt being transferred to the taxpayers of Orange and Osceola County. Um, if you are a taxpayer, though, you know, certainly there's been a lot of speculation of what that will mean for my particular tax bill. And, you know, again, the, the state law doesn't really prescribe an allocation. But if you look at the district's tax levy, it equates to about 10 to 15 percent of the combined tax levies of Orange and Osceola County. Just sort of ballpark rough estimate. That's what an additional burden might look like. And, you know, many household budgets have certainly been pounded by inflation the last few months. Uh, that could be a tough pill for, for some to swallow. Well, it sounds like they're trying to come up with a third way to avoid saddling other areas with this debt, uh, an agency that might be able to thread the needle. And it will be key to resolving this uh, whole spat going forward. Michael, thanks for your time today. No problem, Kelly. Thanks Michael for Rinaldi me. with Fitch Ratings. Coming up, if Senate Democrats get their way, federal, state, and local officials could soon be adding gas price gouging to the list of things they go after. This as gasoline prices hit a fresh all-time high today with few signs they're coming down soon. We have the details next. Muni Money is sponsored by BAM. Help build America's future with BAM-insured Muni Bonds. 
Investing in America's infrastructure drives our country forward. Municipal bonds help strengthen America's backbone and connect us all through essential investment in local opportunities. At Build America Mutual, we maximize the safety and stability of municipal bond investments. That means a bright future for our communities and investors' portfolios. Learn more about the exceptional security of BAM-insured bonds 